All right. Let's get started. Uh, welcome. My name is Jose Anunciato, and I believe this is a CS4500. Uh, we're on the right place. All right. And I believe this is uh, section three, maybe. Uh, so there's two sections, uh, each one with 73 students. And I know they'll be uh, in and out, some folks that join, some folks that leave. And we're both going to be following the same material, the same schedule. Um, and um, we're going to be meeting here Tuesdays and Fridays from 3.25 to 5.05. Um, uh, let's see, the, uh, the, on Tuesdays, uh, it will be more of a theoretical uh, presentation, so lots of slides, uh, some administrative issues. Uh, and then on Fridays, uh, it'll be a little more hands-on, uh, so, some, uh, some particular skill, some particular uh, demo, or, or building something uh, based on what we covered uh, on the previous class. Okay? Um, uh, the instruction team, that's uh, me, Jose Anunziato. Uh, this is my uh, YouTube channel. Uh, all, these, all these presentations will be recorded and made available uh, on my YouTube channel. Uh, I'll make a playlist for this particular section and make it available here on, uh, on Blackboard. All right? uh, even though you can follow along it, and uh, is, it'll be useful for you to uh, review and, uh, and perhaps if you missed a, 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 uh, a lecture or two, um, uh, you know, the, the intent is for you to, the expectation is that for you to be in class. All right? uh, uh, to encourage that, uh, we'll, we'll kind of have a, a quiz every week. Uh, I don't know if it's on Tuesdays or Fridays, uh, even if it's something simple as, uh, you know, what does UML stand for, uh, or, or something really trivial, uh, just to encourage you to be here. Right? Uh, there'll be several, a lot, a lot of administrative issues that uh, need to be handled. And also, since we are uh, doing software engineering, uh, part of a successful software engineer project is communication. Right? A lot of things uh, ride on everybody being on the same page. Um, you can email me, uh, although I prefer that uh, you send me uh, messages on Piazza. Right? Uh, if you have uh, questions about uh, technical questions or questions about the, the assignment uh, or the course in general, uh, you know, make the, your questions public so that uh, typically uh, many, many other use, uh, students are going to have the same exact question. Right? So, so make it uh, public. Um, if, you, if you do have something personal, Obviously, um, you know, send it to my email or as a private message on Piazza. Right? Uh, or you can, uh, uh, you can contact me on my phone. This is my personal phone number. So please do not share my phone number. Uh, so text me. Uh, feel, feel free to call me. Uh, do not hesitate uh, to, to give, me a, give me a call, uh, especially if I don't answer in the, in the, in the, in the hour or so. Uh, or, you know, or leave me a text uh, or leave me a, a message and I'll get back to you. All right. Um, uh, or uh, we can, you know, if, it, if the office hours, you know, don't, you, you either are, are on, a, other, on another course or you're working or they don't work, uh, you can text me and we can jump on a, on a Hangout, right, Google Hangout, and we can share screens and we can uh, look at the source codes together and we can help you that way. Okay. Uh, uh, my uh, GitHub uh, username is Janunzi, and my CCIS username is JGA. Uh, these, these usernames are, you're going to need them uh, because you're going to be using GitHub as source control, and we're going to ask you to invite myself and all the TAs, invite us as collaborators for your uh, source repositories, all right, so that uh, we can uh, take a look at your source control, your uh, uh, your progress, or we can better help you. We have access to your source code. We can clone it down, maybe build something locally, and uh, provide a, a, a solution, and then push it back into your branch for you to take a look at. Okay. Uh, so if we if we're if, if we're using a GitHub, GitHub. This is GitHub.com. Uh, this is my 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 uh, GitHub.com username. So you can invite me as a as a uh, collaborator. Uh, or if we're using the CCIS uh, GitHub, uh, you can invite me using JGA. That's my username on CCIS. Uh, we're going to need your CCIS as well. Right? A form is going to go out today uh, for you to provide your NEU ID and your CCIS uh, account. 
uh, we're going to need that so that we can invite you uh, and create accounts for you in JIRA. We're going to be using JIRA uh, throughout the semester to uh, keep track of the progress of, of projects. Our plan the week out, you know, create, uh, use Scrum uh, to see the different tasks as they move throughout the, throughout the week. Okay? Uh, so we're going to need that. So please uh, submit that uh, this week. The uh, teaching assistants, right now we have three TAs. I'm working to uh, have another three uh, for grading. Since it's uh, you know it's, there's 75 or so of you and there's uh, so we need some more help here. Uh, they're going to be posting their office hours here in the syllabus. Uh, make sure that you have access to the syllabus. Uh, if you don't, let me know. Um, you know I, I hope I, I made it readable to everybody. Uh, they're also going to be providing their own emails, their own GitHub.com, and their own CCIS username, so you can invite them as well. Right, to, 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 as collaborators to your repositories. Right, so, so make sure that uh, you have their information so you can invite them. So they've already been f filling out their, their information. Uh, the course goals, so even though the name of the, of the course is, is software development, it's actually the content is software engineering. And I think we, we can, uh, there, there are some rumblings around that uh, we would like to change the name of the course, that it would be more appropriate. You know, applying software engineer, engineering, applying engineering principles to software development. Right? Uh, and so that, that's uh, most, most of the topic that we'll be uh, covering throughout the semester. We're going to look at the, uh, various, the, the software development lifecycle, uh, the, the various um, st stages of process development, of uh, of, um, of um, uh, requ uh, gathering requirements, uh, creating a design, uh, documenting, uh, building, testing, deploying, packaging, right, and then maintaining software. Right? It's, uh, it's, you know, it's, it's skills that uh, are useful when you're talking about any, any project that is of a fair amount of uh, size. If it's just you, know, you and your buddies uh, you know, building something and hacking at something, certainly software engineering skills is an overkill. Uh, but when you're talking about you know large uh, teams, you know you know 25 or plus uh, folks, you know or hundreds of folks that are working on the same project, different features of the same project, then you know we have to uh, you know things escalate quickly into chaos, right? And you know we humans are flawed. Uh, we are we you know we tend to underestimate our ris the risks. We tend to overestimate our capabilities. Uh, we, uh, uh, we have all sorts of biases and prejudices and selfish, you know, we have lots and lots of, we're, we're very subjective, right? So, so engineering and science uh, allows us to apply those principles to, to give us a more objective measure of our progress and, uh, and measure uh, how, how we're doing, okay? And what is it that we're building and give a more realistic uh, 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 outlook on what is it that we're, we're going to be building and delivering. Uh, the, uh, as I mentioned earlier, lectures are going to be sp split uh, roughly half and half on, uh, on Tuesday, focusing more on the theoretical parts and uh, uh, some of the conceptual, uh, 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 conceptual ideas. A and then on, on Friday, it'll be more hands-on, right, where we're going to be demoing uh, or implementing something to, uh, to illustrate a particular concept. Right? Uh, uh, so, for instance, in, uh, when we get to uh, uh, um, requirements gathering, uh, we'll talk about how to, how to elicit requirements, functional requirements, non-functional requirements, all sorts of requirements, when it's a good requirement, it's not a bad requirement. Uh, so all the theoretical and conceptual part on Tuesday. And then on, on Friday, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about how to, how to document it using use cases, uh, use case analysis, UML class diagrams, sequence diagrams, and all sorts of activity diagrams to uh, to document uh, requirements. When we get to uh, designing, uh, we'll talk about uh, how to design class, uh, classes and one-to-many relationships, many-to-many -many relationships. Uh, and, um, and then on, on Friday, we might you know, create Java classes that implement those UML diagrams. And we'll create tables, you know, MySQL tables, and we'll map Java data models to relational data models. Right? So we'll actually implement something that we just talked about earlier in the week. Right, so it'll be roughly. Uh, you know, half half theoretical, and then early in the week, and then more uh, uh, hands-on the later in the week. Um, the assignments are all designed to uh, build a project uh, from scratch. Uh, we're all going to be working in the same project, uh, but in teams, 
right? They, we're going to have uh, uh, about, so there's 72, 73 of you, uh, give or take. And so we're going to be creating uh, about eight teams of nine uh, developers in each, in each of these teams. And, and, and we're going to call those teams organizations. Right? So you're going to be an organization, uh, and you're going to be building a product. Uh, other organizations are going to be building the same identical product. Right? Obviously, it's gonna, not going to be identical, uh, and the, uh, the, the result is not going to be identical. Uh, but it, we are going to be you know, progressing through in the, same, in the same, building the same features, same, same product. Within that organization, there's going to be uh, three different teams. Right? Uh, team one, team two, team three, each one with three students each. Right? And the idea is that we're gonna, we want to simulate right, the, the, uh, the, um, the challenges that uh, come up when you have uh, when you're working with other folks, right? That you're working in, in, in your own team and also across teams, right? At, at first, uh, the first couple assignments will be fairly individual, right? Where each one of you will be doing uh, certain things just by yourself. But as we progress throughout the semester, uh, more and more you're going to depend on folks in, the, in, your, in your own team, right? And as we progress, you'll depend on other, other folks in other teams in the same organization, right? Never across organizations. Right, always within the same organization. Okay, uh, so the assignments are gonna, are, be, are built uh, to uh, you know to build on each other, um, and so to to uh, to measure your performance as an individual, as uh, participating in your team and participating in an organization. Okay, so you'll be asked certain things uh, every week to be uh, ex uh, exclusively done by you individually, right? Or are you as part of a team or as part of an organization? Right? So every week we'll, you'll be asked to do that. Uh, um, let's see. The, um, also, the, the, uh, in each, uh, each assignment, uh, each week we're going to be covering a particular concept. Right? So for instance, next week we'll talk about requirements. Right? So that assignment that week will be about how to, how to document and gather uh, requirements, functional requirements, non-functional requirements, and so on and so forth. Okay, how do you document them? In the next, next week when we do planning, say, right, uh, you'll be asked to, uh, obviously that assignment will be focused on acquiring the skill of planning, right, using JIRA, creating a scrum board, uh, assigning tasks, uh, using uh, Agile, uh, and you're creating a sprint, and seeing how the tasks flow throughout the sprint. So that will be the focus of that week. But uh, you'll also be giving uh, a couple of things that also need requirements that you covered the previous week, right? Uh, because as we uh, uh, typically at the end of the semester, hopefully, uh, you'll realize that all these skills apply in every single sprint, right? In every single uh, week that you work at, uh, towards a particular goal, right? In every sprint, we do some requirements, we do some design, we do some implementation, some testing. Uh, some deployment, some uh, some maintenance, yes, or every week. But you'll be ga you'll be acquiring these these skills as you progress throughout the assignments. But they'll be applicable, right? All these skills as you as you gain them, they'll be applicable throughout the rest of the assignments. Make sense? Okay. Uh, yeah. So team project. Uh, yeah. So organizations and teams within those organizations. Uh, evaluation. There'll be about 12 assignments, about one assignment per week. Um, ideally, there'll be size so that you do complete the assignment within that particular week. Um, again, there'll be parts of it that will be individual, uh, especially the first two assignments. The first two assignments will be exclusively individual. Right? You won't be depending on anyone. Right? You'll be working all by yourself in the first two assignments while we set up the projects and the teams and we, we have to, we, we, you know, we, we create all the accounts for you in JIRA. So this will give us time to do the administrative part, right? You'll be working on assignments on your own. But starting the third week, once we have uh, teams, that, that third assignment will have a portion of you working with someone else, okay? You know, within your team or within your organization. So the bulk of the, of the, of the uh, course is the assignments, right? Building. Uh, building a project, you know, something working at the end of the semester. Uh, we're going to be building a web application. Uh, it could have been any type of application. It doesn't matter. Right? Any type of application will require some software engineering skills. 
right? It could have been a desktop application, it could have been a mobile application. That's, that's besides the point, you know, what is, it, what is it that we're building? The focus will be on applying software engineering, okay? Again, in any, any application type we would have chosen, uh, there would have been a, an uneven distribution of skills, of software development skills, right? Some folks would have uh, known how to do iOS. Some folks would have been uh, known how to do Android. Some folks are really good at web app. Some folks are really good at databases. So there's an uneven distribution of skills uh, throughout the, 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 uh, the class, and that's to be expected. Okay? So we're not going to be focusing so much on, on your software development skills. The course will be morally focused on applying software engineering skills. Right? We're going to give you as much support as possible to give you the source code, or, or at least to get you started, right? Because again, our focus is not uh, on the on the development; is is applying software engineering. That's the, the that's the hard part. Coding is easy, right? The hard part is the engineering, right? Um, and uh, you know, once you know that what you need to build, you build it. Right? The hard part is our, uh, everybody agreeing what needs to be built. That's the really really hard part, and that's where most uh, most applications fail. Most projects fail uh, because you know, there was no one agreement on what it is that we're building, right? And it kept getting bigger, and, and things kept changing. And I thought you wanted this, but actually you wanted that. And it's a it's a mess, right? Working with people is a mess, right? It's messy. Uh, people understand wrong. Uh, people have uh, different. Uh, uh, you know, different ways of communicating, and it's 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 a, uh, and so engineering, software engineering uh, tries to mitigate that. Uh, there will be about six to eight quizzes. I'm going to try to have a quiz every week. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do that. Uh, maybe, you know, some of these will be really really trivial ones. Um, you know, what does SDLC stand for, or something like that, right? Um, that's about 15 percent. There'll be a midterm. Right before the the uh, uh, the spring break, there'll be a midterm. Um, it'll be mo most of these uh, exams, quizzes, and midterms and, and finals. Uh, there'll be blackboard exams, right? And so it'll be lots of uh, filling the blanks, uh, lots of uh, multiple choice. It will give you a snippet of code or or diagram and ask you about it. Maybe a UML class diagram, a sequence diagram, a use case diagram, or uh, we'll give you maybe a, a paragraph where you have to identify functional requirements, non-functional requirements. Okay. Um, uh, uh, so when you submit your quizzes or midterms or, fi or, or finals, you get your grade immediately, okay, which is great. Um, this is the uh, grade distribution, uh, makeup policy, and late policy. Uh, so in, in, in general, we um, uh, what, what the policy will be is that uh, if you're late, right, if you go beyond the due date, uh, you'll be penalized about a, one point per every hour that you're late. Right? So if you need another couple of hours, that's fine. Uh, it's submitted two hours later. You'll, just, you know, you'll be deducted two points from whatever your final grade would have been. Okay? If, if you're 100 hours late, uh, I would not bother submitting. Um, uh, if you need to travel or something, you know, uh, 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 some, some, uh, something happened, some personal issues, uh, let me know in advance. We'll try to work with you and support you. Uh, but you need to let me know these things in advance, or as, or as, as much advance as you can, uh, so that we can try to in, in, uh, and accommodate you. All right? Um, uh, also, if, if, you, you know, if you're traveling or you need to be absent, make sure your team knows uh, that, uh, that you're going to be absent. Or if, you, if, you, if you're planning a meeting every week, uh, keep everybody uh, abreast of where you are, uh, of what you're doing. Uh, you, you know, we don't want folks uh, being AWOL. Uh, if, you know, in, uh, inevitably in teams, there's always one or two folks that uh, are writing along and not doing too much. Uh, I need to know that early, right? Uh, we don't want that towards the, you know, late of the, uh, at the end of the semester, have folks saying, well, but I work more than, than, than this other person. Why am I getting the same grade or things like that? Okay, I need I need to know those things early on as possible, so we can take uh, take action on that. You know, late in the semester, that's very very late for being able to do anything react uh, retroactively. Okay, 
um, uh, so, some, of these, uh, some of these assignments will ask you to do a 360, a team 360 will ask you uh, vote on your other two teammates. Uh, and, but everybody will vote on each other, right? And, and this will only be a guide, right? They'll, they'll identify some outliers, uh, folks that, uh, that inevitably there's always one or two that uh, are um, slack through, through, through a semester and we, need, we, need to, we want to identify those folks. Uh, most people are, are great, right? So there's no, nothing, nothing will, be, will come of it. Uh, but uh, you know, we, we want to identify any pattern. If, if anybody complains, at least we can go back and say, oh, yeah, well, everybody's been <laughs> complaining about this particular person, you know? Uh, so we want to have some hard uh, numbers on that. Uh, assignments. Uh, uh, so we are going to be working in teams, so inevitably you will have to have access to somebody else's source code you know, within your organization, and that's fine. Right? Uh, certainly we, we, we want to make sure that whatever you are submitting, uh, it's your work. Right? It's your team's work, it's your effort. It's not you reusing somebody else's code or maybe even your source code from last semester. Uh, any work that you uh, are copying more than three lines of code, uh, you need to uh, provide reference. Where did you get this? Right? It's fine if you're using some, some, uh, uh, some useful library uh, that uh, does some of the things you might need to do. That's OK, right? as long as you provide reference where you got that from. Okay? Unless you are specifically asked to build that, okay, then no, you cannot use those libraries. Okay? Uh, but otherwise, you know, if, it's, if, it's, uh, if it's outside of the scope, uh, you're welcome to use uh, other resources. Right? But when in question, please always ask. Right? Or you know, just, just always you know, come clean and say, you know, I got this from this, that, and the other. Or ask, can I use this? Right? We'll let you know whether it's appropriate or not. Right? But do, do not try to deceive. Uh, that's the important part, right? Trust. Trust is the, uh, you know, it's a very important currency, right? And that's uh, and and the TAs are very good at finding things. You know, they they find things from you know two or three semesters back. It says, wait a minute, I saw this, and, and they it says, yeah, I saw this in somebody else's source code or whatever, and they they're very good at finding these things. So I highly discourage you from using, you know, other other people's uh, work or even your own from semesters back. Um, I encourage you to read your, the academic integrity uh, documentation. Right? So uh, there are no surprises there. Uh, reading, so we'll, we'll, have, we'll uh, have some materials interspersed into the, in the slides or as part of the assignments. I'll ask you to read certain articles or perhaps a chapter or two from, that are available online. Academic integrity, we've talked about that already. Uh, classroom environment, uh, so we're all adults. Uh, so you know, let, let's be respectful of one another and of your uh, of your team uh, uh, team teammates. Um, uh, please, uh, you know, um, abstain from uh, from browsing or playing games or uh, you know that might be distracting to myself or to your uh, fellow uh, students that sit behind you looking at your screen at uh, all you know all these cool things you might be looking at. Do not, especially, don't type. You know, I could, I could, I could hear you type. <laughs> so it's very distracting. Especially, do not talk amongst you, yourself. If you want to share with the rest of the uh, the, the class, please do so. Um, you know, it might be very interesting what you might be talking, but it's just distracting to others. Uh, Title Nine uh, disabilities. All right. Any questions? 